Good evening and welcome to the Horse of the Year Awards for 2011-2012. Wonderful night ahead of us, isn't it, Karen? And uh, certainly looking forward to uh, bringing you all the action here on Trackside tonight. Look, the evening culminates with the naming of the Horse of the Year, Karen, and that's the big one. That's the one that everybody waits entire 12 months to, to see what uh, eventuates as uh, Horse of the Year. We do, George. I mean, it's a real celebration of excellence, both human and, of course, horse. And it's going to be a close, closely contested battle, I think, this year. Yeah, a lot of the categories. There's a lot of interest in the jockeys category. Champion Jockey of the Year, Lisa Allpress, the uh, Premiership winning uh, jockey of last season. Maddie Cameron, who gave us such a good run. And, of course, some bloke called McDonald, who uh, rode the odd winner or two last season as well. And of course, when it comes to Horse of the Year, who knows, it's the big question mark, all will be revealed in the next, well, couple of hours. Yeah, look, it's an exciting night. Everybody gets dressed up and uh, you look absolutely wonderful tonight too, Karen, I have to say. Look, uh, I'm sure it's going to be a wonderful night and uh, I'm sure all the winners will be worthy winners and everybody will enjoy themselves. Without further ado, let the action begin. We move on to the uh, Jumps Jockey of the Year. OK, moving right along from that. We had to put this up near the front of the program, you can see why. Uh, the presenter of this award is Mr David Smith, Chairman of the Waikato Racing Club. The New Zealand Jumps Jockey of the Year, Richard Cully. <laughs> Richard, uh, congratulations. Last year was a special moment for you because you had members of your family here and you finally got rid of them after a while. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a job to get rid of them. Yeah, they've come back a couple of times, but no, yeah. No, it was good last year, but um, it was great to get it again on Rio. You, you do a lot of travelling uh, throughout New Zealand, chasing those rides, and you get a lot of support as well. Yeah, well, um, you've got to keep the whole thing going. Yeah, um, wherever there's racing, that's what we're here for. We're travelling, yeah. It's time now to recognise the 2011-2012 New Zealand Jockey of the Year. The presenter of this award will be Sir Patrick Hogan of Cambridge Stud. It gives me great pleasure to announce the 2011-12 New Zealand Jockey of the Year, another Chief James MacDonald. <laughs> Well, James, congratulations. Uh, you are uh, being dubbed, and I can understand that, as probably New Zealand's most promising uh, jockey on the world stage right now. I mean, Group 1's in Hong Kong, Australia, and New Zealand. Gee, how do you sort out a highlight from those? Yeah, it's pretty hard to, actually. Um, I've been very lucky from day one. I've got a great manager, and Gary Cossey, who's he's been a rock solid, and... Um, even my sponsors, B and T, Greg and Pauline, are out here at the moment. But um, I've got to thank them very much. I suppose um, one of the standouts for us on the domestic front, although we're very proud of what you've done internationally, was your clean up at the Auckland Cup Carnival. Yeah, I reckon that was my highlight of the year. Um, even though I won one in Hong Kong and that, um, I really enjoyed that carnival. And to do it on my favourite track at home in New Zealand, it was um, a great thrill. And um, I wish it could happen again, but it's going to be pretty hard to do. The Dunstan Trainer of the Year is our next category, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the presenter of this award is David Smith of Dunstan Feeds, of course, the uh, sponsor of this Dunstan Trainer of the Year award. The Dunstan Trainer of the Year is John Sargent. With a new record set for the most wins in a season, John and uh, they must have given you a great deal of satisfaction. It was a great thrill. Um, 
It's been a long time coming and it's very hard to do. I don't think I'll be trying it again. Uh, Mark Walker put a lot of pressure on us for the last couple of years and um, but I was lucky enough to have Andrew Carson's down south and um, Hayden Allen up north and um, we had it together and it worked well. It's a big team effort though, isn't it? It's, um, you know, you had satellite stables down south, you had the big team at Matamata as well, you were travelling a lot as well yourself. Yeah, I know, it's huge. Um, I don't think I've got good staff at, uh, in my stables, I think I've got the best staff in New Zealand and um, they're all over there and I'd like to thank them very much for being here tonight. Uh, from the top, uh, Lou Weatherly and her husband Darren, they uh, help us right from the top and it goes down to Hayden and Andrew Carstens who's now running my Sydney stables and uh, his sister, he's do sister Michelle's doing my South Island stable now, so it's a whole team effort and I appreciate it. The move into uh, Sydney, that was always on the cards? Well, I think with the money over there, George, you have to look at doing it. Uh, Mike Moroni's done it successfully, and uh, we're just going in there. We've got a dozen there now, and we'll sort of ease in there and see how it goes. Of a season that gave you so many highlights, is there one in particular that stands out? Oh, it'd have to be, without a doubt. My first Group 1 win in Australia, um, quite essential when the uh, Group 1 Oaks in Brisbane. That was fantastic. Of course, you've got the Farnow up here tonight as well. Eh? You must be pretty proud of them. I know they are very proud of you. Yeah, well, they haven't seen a lot of me. Our, our front door at uh, the Sergeant household is a bit like a revolving door at a hotel this year. I go in. This isn't your key, is it, by any chance? It's yeah, it's, I don't, it's my son's. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. It's my son's key. I was actually, actually going to get a good friend of mine, Paul Ryan, to come up and uh, say it was his, because I was a bit embarrassed because I knew you'd take the shit out of me. <laughs> uh, does um, the, the fact that you lose, your son loses hotel keys, does that run in the family? Does that stem from the top, you know, from, from you? Well, it's a big night tonight. I might lose my wife tonight. <laughs> Uh, what a wonderful season for you, and, and congratulations. Uh, but so much organisation, so much that goes into running a top stable. Setting that record, how does that rank? Yeah, that's, uh, that's fantastic. I didn't think it would happen. As long as I'd uh, I went, gone and won a premiership, I was very happy. But uh, that was a bonus on top, and uh, it's all the support around me. And Susie and the kids have been great because uh, they haven't seen a lot of me this year. <laughs> We move now to the uh, final award in this segment. It is for the Owner of the Year. And our 2011-2012 Owner of the Year, this award will be presented by Christine Clark, the Deputy Chair of the Waikato Racing Club. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the 2011-2012 Owner of the Year is the Oak Stud. <laughs> Rick, um, representing Dick as well. Gosh, it was a fortunate day for the New Zealand industry when Dick dropped anchor and berthed here, wasn't it? Yeah, it certainly was, Karen. I mean, uh, in business, the, the guy that puts up the money deserves all the credit, and um, Dick Caraman decided to invest in the New Zealand breeding industry, and um, thank goodness he did. Um, I might have been a publican. If I was a publican, I'd be dead at present, so... <laughs> uh, he's kept me employed, and he's my best sponsor, but he's, he's done a wonderful job, and... Um, He's uh, a Dutchman with resilience because it hasn't all been easy, but uh, we, we've had a great year. It's been fantastic. Mm, you've raced a wonderful team, and I suppose, you know, when you go back over the 12 months of the past season, I mean, the standard, I know, for, for, for me, uh, was the Oaks Oaks, if you like. Yeah, that was the, obviously the highlight of the year, but, the, you know, there's been a lot of highlights, and we, we had a great year. I think we won eight group of listed races in New Zealand alone, and a um, million dollars, that, that's a lot of money to win in New Zealand in one year, but... Uh, no, it's been a great year, and I, I just want to thank the staff. I've got ten of, the, ten of them at a table tonight making a lot of noise, but without them, you, you know, you're, not, you're nothing. And uh, without Dick Caraman and his investment, you know, none of us are anything. So we appreciate his investment. I think the New Zealand industry do. And uh, the owners are sort of an endangered species, so uh, we need more Dick Caramans if we can get them. Yeah, we do, we do. We need to, to have a breeding programme, really, for owners, don't we? But, um, you know, you talk about, about the oaks. I mean, I looked at artistic, I mean... Uh, Nah, yes, yes. Art Artistic, of course, gave your resident sire, Darcy Brahma, his first Group 1 scalp here in New Zealand. And we saw Sorella perform so well in the Let's Elope. Caulfield Cup, here she comes. Yeah, I mean, Artistic was great, because obviously, as you know, and David knows, uh, um, Darcy Brahma is very important to us, and he's had a great year other than Artistic. But uh, Zarella was one of those fillies that we expected to improve the most, and it's probably helped her that she ran second in the Oaks, because... Artistic had to give her two and a half kilograms on Saturday, obviously, as a Group 1 winner. And, uh, but she has taken the steps that we hoped she would. 
I think she showed that on Saturday and um, let's hope with Sean's help we can get her into the Caulfield Cup and have a great day. We'll move on now to the media award. The presenter of this award is Mr Chris Bayliss, the CEO of New Zealand Racing Board. This year's selection of the media award has been decided by a three-person panel who are independent of but knowledgeable about the thoroughbred racing industry in New Zealand to recommend the winner to the awards panel. I'll ask Chris to, uh, to make this announcement of the 2011-2012 media award winner. Thank you, George. In deciding the 2012 New Zealand Thoroughbred Racing Media Award, the panel described this year's winner as consistently passionate and above all professional in all they do in racing and for racing. Through that passion and professionalism, they have surely engendered an interest in our sport amongst many, many people who otherwise would not have become involved in the sport. Racing is very fortunate to have the advantage of their media and communication skills. This year's winner was one of the two inaugural TAB trackside presenters when the channel began in 1992. The winner, Karen Fentanelli. <laughs> looking forward to this. We, uh, we had lunch yesterday, Karen and I, along with uh, James Preston, and uh, we, we go through the, uh, the format for tonight. And James was on to it yesterday, and uh, I said, the winner of this award, I just made up a name, and she said, oh, yeah, fair enough. You know, you deserved it. But I can't think of a more deserving winner of this award, ladies and gentlemen. I go back a long way with Karen. Um, I'm much younger than her, of course, but uh, <laughs> I have aged. <laughs> uh, but my Congratulations. Uh, this, I know, will mean a lot to you. Um, and it just seems like yesterday that we were starting off in, in trackside action TV, eh? Yeah, we haven't changed much, have we? <laughs> Look, George, I, you've given the speech for me, actually. I, I just really want to say I am gobsmacked. It's not often, as those of you who know me well know, that I'm lost for words. Um, um, it doesn't seem 20 years ago when I used to come home in those very early days and, and two little girls would have left um, chocolate kisses on the TV to say goodnight to their mother because it was always those shifts from 6 p.m. till midnight, you know, that we worked in the early days. And uh, this really, though, is testimony to and, and, and a tribute to, I mean, George knows, we work with so many wonderfully talented, diligent, passionate people uh, at the racing board, Glenn Broomhall and his team. I mean, it's the people behind the scenes, the people that put the, the scripts together, the people that are out filming in the, in the sleet of gore and the rain and the snow and the miserable days and the hot days, um, the camera people, um, our producers, all of the people that actually make those presenters, particularly the blokes I work with, look very good on the screen. <laughs> Um, and, and really, this is for them, because we just come in and, if, if you like, we have the easy job. I know that we're not loved by all people. You all have your opinions on all of us, but we're there because we believe in it and we love it, and uh, we only want for the best for the, for the industry. So uh, it does mean a lot, George. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to uh, continue the awards uh, throughout the night, the remaining awards. And the first after dinner is the uh, champion jumper category. The presenter of this award is Mr. Hideki Ono from the Japan Racing Association, and we welcome him here to uh, New Zealand tonight, to the home of the Chiefs. The 2011-2012 New Zealand champion jumper is I am a heroine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful achievement by Anne Brown with I'm a Heroine named as the uh, champion jumper of last season. And of course, last weekend, we saw that Brown Magic do the business again at Ellerslie with Tom Smith winning the Rod and Gun Great Northern Steeplechase, giving the Brown Stable an unprecedented 12th win in the Great Northern Steeplechase. For those 
those of us who were lucky enough to be at Ellerslie on Saturday, you would have seen a side of Anne Brown that I don't think we've ever seen before. She was really, really enjoying the moment. Congratulations, Anne. What a great thrill it must have been for you. It was a great thrill, definitely. I was enjoying the moment, and um, Ellerslie's my favourite course, of course. <laughs> our next award, ladies and gentlemen, recognises our outstanding juvenile performance of the past season. The 2011-2012 champion two-year-old. The presenter of this award is Mr. Des Friedrich, New Zealand Thoroughbred Racing Board Member. It's my pleasure to announce the winner of the champion two-year-old is Warhorse. Well, David, I know that you bought uh, War Horse very early on in the Kadaka sale, New Zealand Bloodstock's premier sale. What first uh, caught your attention with this horse? Well, he was just a real natural two-year-old type, and uh, Mark Walker had a new client in, in Singapore, and uh, he asked me to, uh, to buy a colt uh, for him that would be suitable for the Cracker Million for the New Zealand bloodstock crack a million, and he ran third in that race, uh, but he went terrific races all season. I thought that it was a credit to our staff and, and Matter Matter and Jason did a phenomenal job training the colt all season. He started racing in October, and he was still racing uh, at the uh, in early April, and it was a really, uh, Great thing about it was that it was a team spirit, because, a team effort, because it was Tiakau and Matter Matter and Tiakau and Singapore bringing about a terrific result. We we'll move on now to the next category, ladies and gentlemen. It's the champion three year old. The presenter of this award is Mr. Greg McCarthy, NZTR board member. And the New Zealand champion three year old is Silent Achiever. Kevin, firstly, congratulations. What a wonderful, wonderful thrill it must have been for you to watch your filly do what she did over that season. Yes, it was um, a stunning sort of uh, a season, really. Um, no really uh, sort of anticipation of it all until the, all of a sudden Roger said, I think, we've got something special. She's arrived and uh, it was just bang, bang, bang. Highlight after highlight, obviously. The, the derby right up there. Um, I thought he went in the Waikato Guineas, so it was... Uh, it's pretty special beating a horse called Ocean Park. Yes, it is. But um, Ocean Park's a special horse, I think. But um, I think we've got a base jumper in our, our stable. And um, if she's a human being, she'd be a base jumper. But she just has that, um, that wish to sort of uh, see how far she can get behind and then, then cut them down the last wee bit. But it's hard on the trainer, it's hard on the owners, it's hard on all all the family and friends. There was a lot of talk going into the derby, of course, and uh, she was the favourite, James McDonald up. What were your nerves like leading up to the race? Um, we weren't quite sure about uh, how she handled that, the wet, wet track, and uh, when James went free wide, we were a wee bit, wee bit nervous, but um, yeah, he, he, he rode a great ride, and um, so we bowed to James. <laughs> From the best of our three-year-old crop, we now move to the brightest of stars with our past season sprinters. The presenter for our Champion Sprinter Award is Mr Ben Nettleton, a board member of New Zealand Thoroughbred Racing. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to present the award for Champion Sprinter for 2011-2012 to Mufasa. Now, I know David can't be with us tonight because of ill health, Diane, but, you know, they say some horses at seven or eight might fade by a length or so, but he's as good as he's ever been. Well, he has been the last season. I have to say that, and um, I'm sorry David can't be here. You've really tried. 
Diane, it's been an incredible journey for your whole family, for, for you and Natalie and Simon and, and David, and all to think it began when you decided to buy this very young horse for $50,000. Yes, it did, and um, David has a wonderful eye for yearlings, so we'll have to say that, and um, we've just loved every moment that, from the day we got him, and also, you know, Steve and the trainer and Amy and everyone that's had anything to do with them. It's just been fabulous. We move on now to the next category. This is a champion middle distance horse. The presenter of this award is Mr Joe Walls, NZTR board member. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to announce that the 2011-2012 New Zealand champion middle distance horse is Jimmy Shu. Jimmy Shu, the uh, champion middle distance horse of the uh, season, he's still kicking goals, isn't he, Jimmy? For you, uh, Richard? Yeah, he's been a he's been a horse of a of a, of a lifetime, really. And um, you know, there's a lot of decisions that uh, that we made along the way that uh, people will say perhaps they weren't the right ones, but uh, you only get one chance, and you've got to make the decision and live with it. Uh, we had a great trainer and uh, John Barry. We had a lot of fun with the horse and. Uh, he's gone on to another chapter of his life and uh, we'll start all over again with, uh, with a relation or another young horse and um, just try to keep kicking goals, basically. The Champion Stayers Award this evening will be presented by Dr Alan Jackson, the Chairman of the New Zealand Racing Board. A tremendous set of finalists, but it's my pleasure to announce the 2011-2012 New Zealand Champion Stayer is an extremely aptly named horse. She's sensational. Um, sensational by name, sensational by nature. She is special. You spend your whole life uh, hoping at the twilight end you get a real one, and she is real. She's one out of the box for you? Yep, yep. I, I've been, uh, Alan and I have been lucky. We've had some good horses, had a little 15 2 hand horse, Taiwati Road, 118. Kyra Lad, 118. But this one is totally different. What makes her different? I don't know. <laughs> you, can't, you can't pick them, girl, or your husband would have the bloody lot. <laughs> Us battlers, we get to go. Now, I know how this eventuated this mare. Alan, my son Alan, very, very good horse trainer. I was going to say that, but you've taken my line. Oh, well, I won't argue with you. <laughs> no, he has. He picked this filly in the paddock, he scruffed a yearling. He, went, he bought one, there was three in the paddock, and he wanted this one. And they wouldn't, it was leased eventually, cut the whole story short, and that was she's sensational. He knows what he's doing, that boy, am I? Mind you, he hadn't learnt bad habits. Had a good he teacher. He only works for me. He never learnt bad habits. <laughs> and I wouldn't argue with that, of course. It was good, eh, girl? Well, it was, uh, you know. It's the old story, boy. The older we get, the more we like being called a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we move to our penultimate award, as Stevie D would say. The penultimate award for the night is the award for outstanding contribution to racing. The presenter of this award is Matthew Goodson, Chairman of New Zealand Thoroughbred Racing. He is recognised as one of New Zealand's finest trainers and as an outstanding ambassador for this country on the world racing stage. He is acknowledged in particular for seeing the potential in young horses. While reflective and unassuming by nature, he was never afraid to take on the best and he and his horses flew the New Zealand flag across the world with extraordinary success. He started in racing as an apprentice jockey in 1952 and notched up 70 odd winners on the flat and a further 10 over jumps. But he saw training as his career and successfully applied for his trainer's license in 1958. Since then, he has won the New Zealand Trainers Premiership and saddled well in excess of 1,200 winners including winners of well over 20 Group 1 races. 
He has won most of New Zealand's major races and many top Australian races and beyond, including the Cox Plate, the Cornwall Classic, the Doncaster and the Hong Kong Mile. Horses he has trained by himself and in partnership have been inducted into the Australian Racing Hall of Fame, have been time form world champion, horse of the year both in New Zealand and Australia, and head of the ANZ classification, as well as crowned Australasia's all-time leading earner. Solvig, Flying Luskin, Moonshine, Sunline, and latterly Mufasa are among the great names to have experienced his touch. The 2012 the 2012 winner of the award for Outstanding Contribution to New Zealand Racing is Trevor McKee. Ladies and gentlemen, the outstanding award for outstanding contribution to New Zealand racing. Can you think of someone more appropriate? I think not. Trevor McKee, congratulations. Thanks very much, George. Thank you. Just listening to Matthew read out uh, some of the things that you've achieved in your career. It's been a long career, but it's, it was pretty hard work in the, at the start. Oh, it certainly was. Uh, turn around. Uh, it uh, was extremely when we first started off and uh, had a young family as well. And uh, I must give credit to Nolene, uh, the wife of the last 52 years. She's had to suffer a hell of a lot of ups and downs. Uh, but looking after... Uh, <laughs> not only looking after uh, uh, our family of three, we also had four or five apprentices all the time. And uh, in those days you had to do the, the cooking, the washing, the ironing and also be a mother and father to them. So uh, it was extremely hard in earlier years, but uh, we survived and turned around. Uh, we had to survive early in the piece by uh, selling all the good horses that come along. But uh, eventually uh, we had one or two real good ones, which I decided to hang on to. And uh, lucky that they come along at the later stage, not the early years, otherwise they would have been gone too. We move to the high point and the culmination of this evening's awards ceremony. To the naming, of our Horse of the Year for 2011-2012. The presenter of this award this evening will be our Minister for Racing, the Honourable Nathan Guy. Ladies and gentlemen, the New Zealand Horse of the Year winner is Mufasa. David, this is Karen Fenton Ellis. Congratulations. Now, we're trying to see if we can make this heard in the uh, auditorium. So you have to speak a bit more loudly, but um, what a wonderful success for you. Oh, Karen, uh, thanks, love. And this is a special surprise. Um, yeah, um, wonderful to get it for a second time. He's been a, a great horse for us. Absolutely wonderful. And I think this year probably quite special because when you look at the quality of the horses that were in it this year from and from the Veyrons to the She Sensational to the Jimmy Shoes and, and others, Chris Gray Sapina and, and others, Joe Sapina. Um, you know, there's, there's such a, a, a bundle of wonderful horses this year, and so great honour, Karen, and uh, just so wonderful to, to, to see it happen. Yep. You no, know, we're just uh, all, all credit to the horse. You know, he's, uh, he's a great old trooper, and, um, you know, to come out and head us, have a season like he did last year with four Group Ones as a seven year old, uh, and he's uh, just a good, you know, honest old try. Yeah.